What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. So if you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. So along with making you more self-sufficient, I love to bring you the best product in each category. Today we are talking about Rock Rooster boots. If you're new to the channel, um, you, you don't know that I am a huge fan of Rock Rooster. So Rock Rooster is an Australian made company. Um, they're doing big things out here with their boots. Um, Vibram soles, uh, Coolmax technology, uh, all their leather, some some of their uh, their welts and the rubber is from Goodyear. Uh, all their leather is super comfy. Um, every single pair of Rock Rooster boots that I've bought are comfortable, right, straight out of the box, no break-in period, um, and for the price point, they are an awesome boot. So. Yes, you can buy Thorough Goods and you can buy uh, Timberland Pros and stuff that cost twice as much money. I have not got the same boots to last the amount of time that Rock Rooster boots do. So uh, I am a big fan of Rock Rooster. Um, this is in full transparency, a paid promotion. Um, they give me these boots for free, but uh, by no means does that uh, you know, uh, sway my decision one way or the other. For the very first pair of Rock Roosters, I insisted that I buy on my own and I have loved them ever since. And so I still have a pair uh, that I've had uh, probably 10 million steps in. I've had them for uh, um, going on, uh, I think two and a half years now, and I've they hold up. Uh, there's no questions about it. These are awesome boots. So one thing I wanted to talk about was their VK boots. So uh, these are the, if you look on their website, these are the VK 6253s, and uh, these are their water Waterproof hiking boots. These are a six inch model. So these are right now going on, uh, on a promotion through their membership program. So their membership program costs $80 uh, and it's, it's pretty awesome. So for 80 bucks, you grab their membership program. Uh, they'll immediately send you uh, three pairs of socks and a free pair of boots to get you started. Not bad for 80 bucks. So these boots are uh, usually like, I think 140, 150. Uh, maybe $160. Um, so you're definitely getting a great value here. Um, I'll put links in the description below, but uh, these are some nice boots straight out of the box. Um, first look, obviously I just took them out of the box. I haven't looked at these before. Um, I'm not a fan of these laces. Uh, I think they're more of a cheap lace but laces are something that you can change on a boot. Laces are something that, uh, you know, that wear out in time and you replace them from, you know, years of use or, you know, maybe a summer of tying them up and untying them. You go through laces, right? So this is a maintenance item that can be changed and I'll definitely be changing up this lace. I think it is a very cheap lace, but uh, this is not the same lace that comes with every other boot. So. I really like this brown color scheme. Um, the Vibram soles are uh, are pretty sweet looking. Definitely a nice hiking boot sole. Um, I have the Farland hiking boots and I really enjoy those. So I was excited to get my hands on another pair of hiking boots. So um, a lot of people, you know, say, hey, it, they're scared to buy into a company that's not well known. Well, I have had no issues with these boots. They hold up um, and I have no problem repping them because uh, I, I truly believe in this company. So they are a worldwide company. They employ people all over the world. They're based out of Australia and they can get you boots pretty fast because they have two warehouses here in the United States. So um, these are not something that is hard to get a hold of. They usually reach you very soon or very quickly and um, yeah they are great boots to wear that's for sure so let's get down to it I'm going to uh, put on a pair of these socks because I have literally not never taken the socks out of this so I wanted to give you guys a, a uh, you know a in-person like on camera feel for how you're gonna look at my nasty feet and we're gonna put these socks on and I'm gonna tell you exactly how I feel about them then we're gonna put the boots on and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you exactly how I feel about them because um, if you know anything about me regardless of whether you give me a product for free or not I'm gonna give you my honest opinion good bad or indifferent so um, I, I don't have uh, any doubts with these but if they suck I'm gonna tell you they suck so let's go ahead and put these these socks on and uh, get these boots on my feet all right, so first and foremost, uh, 
I already can tell you that I'm going to like these socks because they are a more synthetic sock than uh, cotton. And I really like spandex socks. I really like synthetic socks. Um, I really dislike um, cotton. Um, I used to wear Dickies cotton socks and they just get too hot. Um, if you're in any kind of, uh, you know, any kind of warmer climate, man, these things, things, these things feel good. Um, yeah, <laughs> they, they don't feel too bad. Nice sock right off the boot, right? No pun intended. Let's go ahead and lace these things up. So, yeah, not a bad lace, but I'm definitely going to be upgrading this lace. I'm not too excited about it. It's not the end of the world, though. Um, just feels like a cheap old tennis shoe lace. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this, uh, this shiny part on the back of the boot here, but it is what it is. Um, I think it's a little too flashy. I mean, you can just see it in the garage here. Um, it's reflecting quite a bit. Not, eh, not for a hiking boot. I don't know why they did that. But uh, one thing I wanted to note with these boots is they're, they're doing these, uh, man, they put all kinds of, they put all kinds of logos and stuff on these things, but their insoles, I don't know where they get these insoles or if they're made specifically by Rock Rooster or they're a Comfort Memo rebrand. Um, they've got all kinds of stuff on them, but these things are comfortable. I mean, they're, they're so darn comfortable right out of the box. It's ridiculous. So that's the one thing I have to say about Rock Rooster is they have never, never once have they ever been uncomfortable right out of the box. And these boots are, are definitely no exception here. Um, just having them on my feet like this. Um, they're true to size, so I, or I'm a 10, and I ordered a 10, and I have plenty of room. They don't feel tight, they don't feel loose. Um, they're not bad at all. So I'm not really a shorts and a boots kind of guy, but you know, these are definitely nice. All right, so initial thoughts is, well, hold on a second. Let me get rid of, get rid of this, okay? They put a lot of tags on their boots for all their different stuff. Um, I really don't find it necessary that you need to put all this stuff on here. Um, this is extra promoting and stuff like that for Vibram soles and stuff. Um, all the guys do when they get the boots is cut the crap off. So um, Rock Rooster, not necessarily a you know useful thing. Pitch that stuff. You don't need that stuff on your boots. Um, but we just throw it away anyways. Now. These boots are going to be a little wonky for me at first because I kind of walk bow-legged. So I've got some, I got a funky gait, right? So I ride out here on the back heel on the, on the outside too much. So the sole being flat across the back is going to mess with me on hard surfaces. Is this gonna be an awesome hiking boot? Yeah, these are gonna be sweet hiking boots. Um, I don't necessarily like how much substance there is right here at the top. Um, I feel like it's just too, you know, ballooned out uh, to where it has to tighten in. I feel like we could get rid of, you know, a lot of that padding in through there. But they're hiking boots and they're supposed to keep you from rolling your ankle and doing stuff like that on the trail. So I get it. Um, but overall, very, very comfortable. Um, I, I had no doubt that they were going to be comfy right out of the box. Um, I can already tell they're nice and warm. Um, and I can already feel the Cool Max uh, socks breathing. So kind of crazy to feel like I know my feet are starting to sweat right now, but I can feel that I have the that I have synthetic socks on because I can feel them breathing. Unlike a hot uh, a hot cotton sock that just gets hot and hot and hotter and hotter, right? So I think these are definitely going to be an awesome hiking boot. Um, I'll probably work in these too. Um, these will be good for the snow and cutting firewood and stuff like that. So, all right, let's wrap this video up. All right, guys, that wraps up my video. Um, I think for the, for the value of the membership of $80, this isn't a bad deal. These boots are very comfortable. These socks are pretty darn comfortable. Um, I'm not sure who makes them for Rock Rooster or if they're, uh, you know, they're probably white labeled, probably rebranded. Um, so I'm not exactly sure 
who makes them for them. Cool Max is what it says on them. Um, really nice, comfortable pair of socks. Um, if anybody is interested, it says 75% Cool Max, 22% polyester, and 3% elastane. Elastane? Maybe that's elastic um, in a different language. Don't know. But uh, yeah, so these are, are, are nice boots. Uh, I have just a little couple things that I would change about them, but um, nothing that's gonna keep me from uh, buying another pair. So I highly recommend them to all my friends and followers. Uh, I have had nobody say anything bad about them. The only bad thing I've ever heard said about Rock Rooster boots is they don't, uh, they don't cater to the crazy sizes of some people's feet. So I see a lot of guys complaining that they don't have like triple wide boots. It's like, you're probably gonna have to go to a specialty boot store for a super wide foot or a super narrow foot. There are certain instances when the mainstream or a smaller boot company like this is not going to be able to fi uh, feasibly tailor to you. So you have to have reasonable expectations about a smaller company, I get it. it you know, not everyone is their client or their customer. So you have to keep that in mind that, you know, if you have a really wide foot, you might be going to look for a custom boot and not a right off the shelf boot. But I see people complain about it. They're too, um, you know, they're, they're not wide enough, blah, blah, blah. They don't fit my feet right. I didn't, you know, so it is what it is. The experience that I've, I've had with them is 100% awesome. I, they have been true to size every time that I have ordered them and I believe in them. And that's why they are here on the channel. If I didn't believe in them, I wouldn't even be here, right? Like Tom Selleck and the new, uh, the new uh, reverse mortgage commercial. Um, but that's my video, I'm sticking to it. I really like uh, Rock Rooster and I'll continue doing business with them. Uh, great people to deal with. Um, well, it's time to give my video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. And if you have subscribed to the channel, well, I guess we'll see you guys in the next video.